Hey, what's going on everybody? Jason here, and welcome back to another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies video. Today we're going to be covering everything coming to the game in Season 3. Today, the content roadmap released for Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3, and for Zombies, well, it looks like Season 3 is going to be similar to Season 2 for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. But without further ado, let's go ahead and cover what's coming to the game. First things first, a new Dark Ether story mission, this time revolving around Dr. Jansen. An unknown force of disturbing power has its psychic tendrils wrapped tightly around Dr. Ava Jansen. Jansen. The Doctor has been lured into a new region of the Dark Aether under this malignant influence. Strike teams from Operation Deadbolt have converged to assist Sergei Ravanov as he attempts to locate and rescue Dr. Jansen from the unknown. Your expertise surviving and escaping the Dark Aether is required. The time has come to explore a new part of the Dark Aether and rescue Dr. Jansen and readying up for another Dark Aether gate hunt. And taking a look at the images of the new Dark Aether region, once again, it's another area from Almazra. This third Dark Aether rift is just as ornery as the past to expect a series of unlock objectives focusing on finding and attuning several relics. Accomplish these tasks to step into the ethereal voidscape and face the terrifying horrors lurking within, claiming valuable rewards if you survive. Squad up and help Operation Deadbolt continue to contain the onslaught from the undead. Naturally, you're also here to complete activities and contracts, discover arcane secrets, and secure some highly classified schematics. So pretty par for the course when it comes to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. A new season, a new Dark Aether area ripped from Almazra, and more schematics. Also, something to keep in mind is that all this content I'm talking about in this video is coming in the middle of the season. That means Season 3 Reloaded. None of this will be available at the launch of Season 3, so Zombies fans have to wait yet again for the mid-season update. But moving on, there are three schematics coming to the game. There are the Deadwire Detonators, the Golden Mask Filter, and the Sergeant's Beret. Deadwire Detonators. Are you still shocked at the impressive electrical damage the Deadwire Ammo Mod inflicts? Then you might want to employ the Deadwire Detonator and a attach it to all your explosive weaponry, including lethals and launchers. So that doesn't really tell us much about what this schematic actually does, but if I had to guess, it makes all explosives deal electric damage as well. Golden Mask Filter, a prized schematic with a shiny hue and an impressive long-lasting effect. Gain a self-regenerating gas mask for the rest of the match. This comes in extremely handy for surviving zombie strongholds and any surprises in the rifts. This is a pretty cool idea, actually. We already have the golden armor plates, which are regenerative armor plates, and now we have this this, which is going to be a regenerating gas mask. It's a pretty cool concept, but I'm pretty sure this schematic is probably going to have a two or three day cooldown, and you're not going to be able to use it as frequently as you'd like to. But moving on, the last schematic being added is the Sergeant's Beret. Your outcomes no longer need to be terminal when dealing with Zakayev's hired guns. Simply don the Sergeant's Beret to disguise yourself among the mercs and summon a trusty merc bodyguard who shadows you to the end. So in order to avoid firefights with all the terminus outcome mercenaries, you can use the Sergeant's Beret. And you also also get a bodyguard, which I'm going to assume is going to be pretty similar to the friendly hellhound where this bodyguard can also revive you if you go down. And finally, the last thing being added to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies with Season 3 is going to be a brand new warlord once again called Rainmaker. Additional caution is advised when operating in the southeastern part of the Urzikstan exclusion zone, as warlord Rainmaker has commandeered and heavily upgraded the defenses of his fortress on Raha Island, across the water from Shaheen Manor. As his codename suggests, this warlord is an artillery and demolitions expert, and though his island compound is relatively easy to reach, stepping foot on the island with your limbs still attached may be more of a challenge. Expect mortar rounds and RPG fire to descend on your squad, with assault maneuvers made even more difficult due to the water surrounding Rainmaker's lair. Fast transport is recommended, and once you disembark, try to ignore the chaos and focus on the fortress. Rainmaker's forces are expendable, and he almost enjoys sacrificing his own men to take out intruders. With the fortress breached, slow your progress as the compound is brimming with tripwires and traps. Stepping on a mine at this point would be unfortunate. Then prepare to change your game plan once you finally corner Rainmaker. He's capable of some nasty surprises you won't be expecting. So, just like Legacy, Dokubi, and Carries before him, Rainmaker is going to be another warlord that we have to take out. Rainmaker is an explosives expert, and once again, we have to infiltrate a fortress. And just like Carries, Rainmaker's fortress is in the Tier 1 zone. So, theoretically, this fortress shouldn't be as difficult as maybe Legacy or Dokubi. But there you have it. That is all the content coming to Modern Warfare 3 Zombies in Season 3. And before I wrap up today's video, just like I've done with previous videos, I'd like to cover the new weapons that are coming with the new season. For starters, there are three new weapons in the Battle Pass. First of all is the FJX Horus submachine gun in Battle Pass Sector 8. Next up, we have an advanced warfare weapon coming to the game, which is the Moore's Sniper Rifle in Battle Pass Sector 4. And then we have the Gladiator Melee Weapon in Battle Pass Sector 15. And we've seen this melee weapon before as the push 
Ambush Dagger in Vanguard. And last but not least, another fan favorite advanced warfare weapon is coming to Modern Warfare 3, the BAL-27 Assault Rifle, coming in the middle of the season. And just like some of the previous weapons in Modern Warfare 3, this weapon is going to be unlocked through the classified sector of the Battle Pass. A very random decision to add advanced warfare weapons to Modern Warfare 3, but I guess we'll just see how it plays out in the game. But anyways guys, those are all the weapons coming to the game with Season 3 of Modern Warfare 3. Overall, the Zombies content from Modern Warfare 3 is pretty par for the course, and honestly, expect the same sort of pattern for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies with the future seasons of this game. A Warlord, a new Dark Aether mission, and a few new schematics. It's nothing to write home about, but we'll see what happens when Season 3 Reloaded actually comes around. But what do you guys think about Modern Warfare 3 Season 3? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Anyways guys, that's it for this video, and I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're a brand new viewer. And with that said, have a fantastic rest of your day or night, depending on where you are in this crazy world, and I'll see you guys next time.